You mentioned that being a person of color in Belgium can still sometimes put people that don't know you on edge or have to looking at it in a different way. I'm going to ask you straight up because this is one of the topics that I love to talk about. Also, um, dating someone that is not white, um, mm -hmm. I go through situations and experiences myself. Um, how racist would you consider Belgium to be still at this point or not at all? What is your opinion on that? Well, this is a really sensitive, this is a very sensitive topic for me. And it's not something that I want to, um, that I don't openly discuss. Mm -hmm. um, but it, I think it's important that we do discuss it because everyone, the focus and the attention is, is a lot in what's going on in North America right now. Um, some horrific things, not only in, in, in the United States, but also in my country, Canada, you know, with the First Nations people and, and the altercations and the, the reservation and no culture. One, and no one talks and, about and, that. And yeah. so, so no, no one's, we're not talking about that. No. And so, um, so the cycle mm -hmm. of this turnover, now it's becoming in the forefront of people's eyes um, in discussion because of essentially the overt actions. But for me, it's more about the... Um, I'd like to talk more about the system, systemic parts and the institutionalized aspect of this. For me, I have been, I grew up being pestered, being bullied, um, growing up in a predominantly, you know, again, white Anglo-Saxon Catholic Protestant environment um, with not a huge cosmopolitan content at that time. Now it's changed where I live. Mm -hmm. If I go back, it's just like it's opened up. But at that time, I didn't have a connection to the black community in terms of my identity as a mixed or a Uh, a young black man. Mm -hmm. I had exposure to that when I was with the national team because we had a lot of black players from Toronto. And I had a really hard time at the beginning because they looked at me as like the kind of the Uncle Tom, mm -hmm. pardon the pun. Right. You're and I had to fight mm -hmm. and I had to, and I wanted to be accepted by them. But I went through that, I went through, I had to go through that process mm -hmm. and that was extremely hard, extremely hard. So because of all that, those experiences and that learning, when I, once I got here, um, Of course, you notice the look, you notice the glance, and those subtle things that most, you know, white Belgian people they don't they don't understand that sensitivity, and I never force that upon a, another person to understand that because they can't. Mm -hmm. But if if we sit down, most people will not. I will not have a conversation like this about that with somebody, and you're bringing that up to me, and I'm saying that I see it and I experience it every day. Yeah. And again, I, I break through that because initially, I'll give you an example. I'm going into the, the bank or I'm going into an administrative house and I need to have something done, some formalities. And person looking at me with a little bit of head sideways and looking at me like, Is he Moroccan? Is he this? And, and, and as soon as I speak English and I say I'm Canadian, I see the body language change and they open up. But, but for me, the damage is already done. Right. But mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't cry over it, no. but it's there. Of course. And that, for me, yeah. is the, mm -hmm. the sad uh, state of not, not just Belgium, but I think that it's just, mm -hmm. it's just I think what's happening in Europe is... is I think the level of racism and discrimination is, it, it may not have as many violent um, uh, reports, but it's extremely damaging from the standpoint of you're, you're, you're doing a good job, mm -hmm. you have aspirations of moving into this position, this job, and you go through all the steps, everything's going well, and then at one moment, a door closes on you right. and you don't know why. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I think it like this whole, the, the whole, uh, 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 this Black Lives Matter, and I, and I noticed a lot on Facebook, people making comments about this and what, what, Black Lives Matter, don't all lives matter? Well, of course all lives mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. But I think that some of those white Belgians don't understand what I'm talking about. I think it should be more discussed in terms of a systemic right. thing. Nobody wants to see anyone get beaten up mm -hmm. um, no. and, and, and hurt. And 
that's, but we're talking about an opportunity to sit um, intelligently, calmly, and to open up this, which is a, it's, 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 it's a problem. And um, My thing is, what I always say about people in Belgium is they, most of them literally don't have a clear concept of what racism entails. So what I mean is, yeah. you have a very strong majority of people saying and doing racist things without knowing it. So they're not even, they're not trying to be racist. They're not, they're not bad people. Right. They just don't have a clear idea of what's okay and what's not because right. it has been ingrained for, for right. decades that some right. things are okay to say. And this is something that I, to this day I try to explain, no, you cannot say that. And then, it, right. but what do you mean? And, and right. it's, it's, it's hard, but it's, it's very deeply rooted within our culture here. And, and I think the, the, the curriculum of education, I think it skims over certain, certain things and there could be a way, but, but the best education is travel and so many yes. people have not been exposed to, to different cultures and different environments and, um, and therefore um, developing you know, uh, tolerances. You know? And there's, it's always going to be now, and especially now with the COVID, people are, it's, it's a, it's a you know, people are losing their jobs, they're losing their livelihoods. It's always easy to point the finger and, and, and blame and, bl and blame something else. And I think that those underlying, um, some of those views that were under here tucked away that you may not even notice in somebody are now becoming, so the world is going through a, a reckoning, a transformation, um, and that these things are now, and these angers in this, during this, 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 crazy period we live in I think they come to the they're coming out and so people can't people can't avoid them and, and they're confronted with these things yes. and that's what's that's what's happening right now so do you need help making better decisions in your life are you lacking self-confidence and motivation to get things done hire me today and get a direct daily line of communication with me through video chat and audio messages I operate on a week-to-week -week basis so no long-term investment is required. Seven straight days of Viking advice will get you right on track. Email me at lorenz.dries at gmail.com and change your reality. I'm ready whenever you are. See you soon.